All right, good morning. So it's like 6 a.m., maybe 6.15 now, and uh, about to pack up and get moving. I actually didn't do any night hiking at all. I like set up at like 7 o'clock, just because I figured it would be way too annoying going through snow and wet trail in the night. So I was like, you know what, I'll just set up camp somewhere nice at like 7 o'clock. And I also wasn't sure like what the trail would be like up ahead. And it was such nice like pine forest here that I knew it'd be so easy to camp here. So I just figured might as well. So I'll show you where I camped. So this is where I slept. And yeah, it's just pine forest all around. So it's nice soft pine floor to camp on. But yeah, so because the snow and the wet trail slowed me down quite a bit yesterday and I didn't do any night hiking, it means I actually still have like 34 miles to get to Flagstaff. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing today because I don't know. I, I mean, I could get there, but I'd be getting there kind of late. So I don't know if I want to do that. I'm starting to think maybe I should just do like, I don't know, less than 30 miles, like 28, 29 or something and then kind of just have like a really short day tomorrow uh you know just doing like six miles or something like that or five miles and and then just you know take some rest and flag stuff so i'm not sure I'll, I'll kind of just see how far i get today depending on how fast i hike and what the trail is like and then just make a decision from there but yeah either getting to flag stuff late this evening or you know tomorrow morning basically and then just hanging out in town for the day so that might be nice, get to see the town a bit. I don't know, let's just see how it goes. The good thing about doing the snow early in the morning is that it's really like crunchy and it's not slushy. It never really got to be like properly slushy snow. But still, you would end up sinking a bit in it and you'd get some snow in your shoes. But right now, it's much quicker to walk across it. So this is actually supposed to be the trail, but it's turned into a stream. It's actually flowing. It was actually like this at quite a few points yesterday as well. So I just walked beside the trail, but it's quite rocky beside the trail as well. So it slows you down a bit. Nice forest though. So now that I've had some more time to think about it, 
I think it makes sense just to go almost all the way to Flagstaff today, but don't go all the way in. And then tomorrow morning, I'll go into Flagstaff, get breakfast, stay the whole day, get lunch and dinner, spend the night. That way I have lots of time to like, see what the town is like, but also, you know, get my resupply, get anything done which needs to be done. And yeah, it'll also just be an opportunity to take a bit of rest. Because say I only do like, you know, five miles or something tomorrow to get into Flagstaff. That's what people call a Nero. A Nero is like a nearly zero day. So it's kind of like a rest day. Because at this point in the trail, most people would have taken quite a few zeros. And a zero is just, you know, you do zero miles. So it's, it's a rest day. And a lot of people, yeah, they'll get to a town and they'll spend two nights in the town. And that way they get a full rest day. But I feel like most people probably have taken like five zeros at this point. Four or five, I don't know. But I've taken zero zeros. So I haven't had a rest day. And my shortest day has been like, I don't know, 14 miles or something. Which is, kind of feels like a bit of a rest to me. But anyway, yeah, it's a good idea to take a bit of a rest day, take it easy. So I think that's the plan for tomorrow. I have enough food for that as well. So yeah, I think that's the plan. Man, the trail is really flowing here. It's ridiculous. I'm glad I camped where I did because this would have been really annoying in the night time. So for a while I've been walking past this like rock wall, it's a really long rock wall and at certain points it's a lot higher up as well and I think that's from, um, it used to be like for logging, it was a logging rail, railroad or something which has now been deconstructed so I guess Flagstaff used to be you know like a logging town or whatever and that was, this is the railroad and probably an easy place to build a trail right next to it because it's pretty level ground you know so I met another hiker today she's the only person I've seen so far today her name is Blissful and it was nice to chat to her for a bit I was just taking a break and she caught up to me and so we just chatted for a while and she has a blog called blissfulhiker.com and she's hiked the PCT She's hiked Te Araroa in New Zealand and 
a, a bunch of other things, John Muir Trail, you know, that type of stuff. Lots of interesting hiking. So yeah, it was good to chat to her. She was really friendly. I actually bumped into her last night as she was setting up camp or just as she was about to set up camp. And she asked me if I was through hiking the Arizona Trail. And I said, yes. And then I asked her if she was section hiking and she seemed kind of offended by that. She said, did you ask me that because I'm old? And by the way, she doesn't look old. She looks like probably about 20 years younger than she actually is. But anyway, I didn't ask her that because she looked old. I asked her because it looked like she was walking southbound instead of northbound. And pretty much everyone at this time of year is just going north if you hike the whole trail. Anyway, so that's why I asked her that. But <laughs> anyway, it was interesting talking to her. She was talking about she was kind of complaining, I guess, saying that like everything's been the same for a while. Oh wow, just as I say that, I see the peak of some mountains here, check this out. So I don't know how well you can see that, but those are the first mountains I've seen in a few days. It's pretty much just been... Sorry, I know it's really blurry on here, but it's just been like um, forest for a while. Now those mountains. That's a crazy coincidence. Because Blissful, I was just about to say, Blissful was saying um, how it was kind of sad that like, you know, we're just in the forest and there's no reward. Like you're just kind of hiking and hiking and everything looks the same and you don't get rewarded with any views. And just as I was about to say that, that's the first like view of a mountain in a while. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure she's about to enjoy that view as well. She's somewhere close behind me. But yeah, anyway, she was just saying how like the Sierras, like the John Muir Trail and the PCT is just like constant, amazing views. But yeah, just to clarify that point about how everyone's hiking northbound, basically on the Arizona Trail at this time of year, you know, March, April, the people that hike the whole trail will only really go northbound because it just works with the seasons in terms of uh, if you tried to go southbound, there'd be so much snow in the north when you start, unless you start late, but if you start late, it'd be really, really hot in the south. So anyway, everyone hikes northbound, basically. And then some people do the Arizona Trail in, like, October, November, and they'll do the opposite. Everyone will hike southbound for, like, the opposite reason, basically. But yeah, when I saw Blissful, she is actually hiking northbound, but I just, she was walking back a bit walking south because she was like finding a place to camp and so that's why I just assumed like there's no way she's you know hiking the whole trail south but anyway she's hiking north as well All right, so it's about six o'clock now. I haven't filmed a lot in a while because uh, my phone battery is very low. And so I might not film anything tomorrow until I actually get to Flagstaff. But yeah, right now I'm less than 10 miles from Flagstaff and it's six o'clock. So I definitely could have made it there today if I had taken less breaks. And also if I had done some night hiking last night, it would have been really easy, honestly. But yeah, less than 10 miles. I'm going to camp somewhere probably within the next half an hour and, you know, have like probably less than nine miles to do tomorrow to get to Flagstaff. And yeah, it's been a nice day in the forest. Uh, the only person I saw today was Blissful and she was really friendly. So that was great. And yeah, so I'm just going to sign out now. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Might not see you until I'm actually in Flagstaff, but we'll see.